just picked a campaign. Um, I'm only playing for up to an hour today, but uh, I can save the campaign and maybe we can play it in a, uh, a couple of slots here on different streams. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd uh, give it a try. It may be something I don't like and I don't want to play again, but we shall see. Oh wow. This, uh, this looks very interesting. So deployment phase. Terminator is already selected. Icons display in the bottom of the screen. So I've got to deploy my Terminator. So, okay, makes sense. Let's put one there. And have him facing that way, of course. Yeah, so, Terminator's deployed first, and then Gen Stealers. Once Terminator has been deployed, um, end of deployment phase. Okay, end of phase. So, enter. Oh, we got first person. When you're in first person, line of sight is limited. Move the terminator forwards. So W. Each terminator has an action points to move. Uh, interact, have fight. Move forward till you reach the door. Mm. Okay. Excuse me for yawning. Had some broken sleeps this week. It's been messing me up. Something wrong. So. Got some different things on the toolbar down there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got aim, punch, open door, looks like number four. Interact with the door, select interact, yeah, it's number four. So, four. Next. Terminator has used all his action points. Terminator received four action points. So I like this. It, it, it's very much like a tabletop game would be, and Warhammer, but you actually get the 3D version of it, which is really cool. I like that. The Terminator has used all his action points. Terminator has received four action points at the beginning of each turn, so I'm ending my turn. Okay. So Gen Stealers. There is no Gen Stealers activity for now. Terminator is free to continue. Um, I'm not through the door, am I? What the heck is going on? Uh, N is next. X to activate tactical view. A few squares away, a blood angel brother needs support. I can't go forwards. Oh, I can go Q, move diagonally. Okay. And then interact with the door. Okay, end my turn. Okay, your objective is to awaken fallen terminators and extract them. Reach the terminator and interact with him in order to awake him. Okay, so I've reactivated him. The Terminator is now in your squad. His avatar is displayed on the left of the screen. Okay, so... So, can I select him? How do I select him? Is it tab? Oh, yeah. Terminator is now in your squad. Um, switch between the Terminators and confirm. Okay, so now I've got him. We're moving forward. And tab to the other. And then click. And turn. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so I got attacked by a gen stealer. Um I probably want to go to the one I got just revived. F to switch to iso. Okay. So this is called isometric when you get the uh, top down. So N. If I get the camera view, I've got a gen stealer here. I got. The camera gives them an overall of the mission. Tactical vision 
move the camera around so I can move it around so Gen Steeler's behind me, where's the guy that I was? It looks like he's offline so I wonder if I can turn around and go go get him um, Okay, near the terminator, console is linked to the door. Activate the console and shut the door. Okay. So. Select the terminator and move him to the position. And select his orientation. It, once in front of the console. Okay. Alright, so this would be... Okay, now I can interact. And... Do it again. Okay, so I've shut the door that was behind me. The door to the console cannot be destroyed. But the console can be... Can the Terminator is now out of reach of the Gen Stealer? Okay, and turn. So I want to move here and I want to face that way. Okay, another fallen Terminator. So let's interact with him. Now I can go to him, and I can move him where I want to go. I'm loving this. This is great. So let's. Switch the newly awakened Terminator and move him one square forward. Okay, this area is dangerous. Red warning signs, Gen is close enough to attack. Best option to protect him is put him in Overwatch. So, how do I know? Okay, and Overwatch. So, I think that's five, right? Oh no, it's two. There is dangerous red warning signs, Gen Stealers close enough. Until the opponent's turn, Terminator and Overwatch shoot any moving Gen Stealers in line of sight. Okay, so that's interesting. I like that. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's give it a crack. He's in Overwatch mode. The mini map screen details the entire mission up here. It's useful to quickly understand your surroundings. So end turn, because everyone's moved. We have a gen stealer, so... Blips can contain three... Zero to three gen stealers. Another threat. Blips contain zero to three gen stealers. A blip is revealed at Terminator. Move the Terminator to the middle of the room and rotate him left. Okay, and then shoot. Okay, it's time for you to storm to use storm bolter. Cost one action point, but they are free after any movement. A shot can hit or miss a target. Probabilities displayed in the action description. Shoot can select the action. Okay, so that was nice. The Terminator has enough AP action points remaining to activate Overwatch. So let's put him in Overwatch status. Next. So this guy, can I move him wherever I want? Select and move the other to here. And select his orientation towards the fallen. I really like this game. I'm really enjoying it. So it's like a turn-based board game, but with all the cool graphics. Oh, so he he destroyed him. Odds against Terminator Storm Bolt is jammed while the Overwatch. Uh, unfortunately, he has no activity. Watch to unjam it. Move the remaining terminal to the next and in But if I activate him, am I not gonna die? Okay, so 
Okay, so I'll activate him, sure. Okay, now that Terminator. Turn and shoot the Gen Stealer. So pick him, face him that way, and then shoot Gen Stealer. Command cards. The Terminator misses targets. Difficult situation like this one. The squad can make good use of command cards. Open your hand of command cards. What is that key there? Was this it up here? This shows your objectives and command cards. Each card can be complete or converted into an order that extends tactical options. Uh, only one card can be converted per turn. The squad's action points revealed received are indicated at the bottom of each card. Convert the card. So I get three more action points by converting this card. Two. Now you've obtained three squad action points. So I can shoot at the same target. And select another unit. If, when a terminator shoots the same target twice without moving, he gets sustained fire buff. Shoot the gen stealer again. Okay. <laughs> Looks like I got him that time. The shot was a success. The remaining two squad eight action points. Terminator's put into Overwatch to Okay. Can I select that one and put him in Overwatch too? Use to Overwatch and then move the Apocryphary Terminator towards the last objective. Okay. So now I tab to him. I select him and I move him. What? What? Oh, I can move in there. Okay, so end turn. What well, looks like there might be another gen stealer. Weapon is jammed. Another one. Okay. Open your command cards to deal with the last threat. So, and, and I've got all my command cards up here. And I want to convert this one. So, play the card. Each card needs c command points to be played each turn gets one command point. Usually is avoid to attack gen stealers from a distance. However, one of your cards will change this. Play the card named for the Emperor and apply it to the Apocrypha 3. Select a target. What am I doing? Thanks to this card, the Terminator will win the next melee. Attack the Gen Stealer in the melee. Melee. Okay, and then three. Whoa! Oh my goodness! That was gross. Ah well, he did it. Okay, convert card. The same turn, you may play as many cards as you have available. Command points. So where's command points? Five command points. Okay. So I can play another card. I'm gonna convert this one or play it. I'm gonna convert it. Hmm, 
switch between units. So. Move the turn, my leader. Which way is he gonna face? Oh, I guess that just finishes it. Objective is near. Two terminals nearby extraction point to finish the mission. Okay. That seems pretty straightforward. Some of it will take a little getting used to, but it seems pretty straightforward. I'm kind of liking it so far. Yeah, I remember these these Gene Steeler guys from uh, the game back in my my days as a kid when I was playing it on the Amiga, and uh, had a similar vibe to it. Obviously, the graphics and stuff weren't you know fantastic, but but you really had the same turn-based kind of 3D view as well, although it was very rudimentary. It was kind of like Bard's Tale in the way it looked, <laughs> but it was it was good. It was a lot of a lot of fun. So, tactical provision provides extra information, such as showing the links between interactive objects. Okay, so the links was that it, they had like a dotted line between the console and the door on one of the maps, or on that that map I just played. So, so I think I'm through the tutorial phase. Now I might be in the kind of get on with it kind of phase but maybe there's more stuff to teach me I don't know crazy oh what is that is that me arriving this is Sergeant Daharia. In the name of Sanguinius and the Emperor, the squad stands ready. Bless your weapons and advance. The are all here. My horse begs for it nearby. Could you see us? Keep your weapons prime, brothers. Hold your fire until we make visual contact. Wow. Oh. Blood Crusader oh. to Strike Team. Sergeants, this is Captain Obaldo. We read you on scry sensors. Visual feeds from your combat cameras are clear. You will, Brother Captain. How do you wish us to proceed? Crazy. I wonder how they have we a bath. to destroy this Hulk, and so we will. What a if they sweat in those suits? Eyes on our victory this day. The adepts suggest you attempt to locate an ammunition store or an energy core that might be induced to detonate and fracture the derelict. Make your way deeper into the wreck. You know the drill, Sergeant. Deploy your squad and advance with caution. Dispatch any opposition you encounter without mercy. Aye, aye, Captain. How are we going we next? summoned to destroy this Hulk, and so we will. Acknowledge. Brother, your fate. Yeah, okay, enough of that. All right, initial phase, deploy. So, can I just deploy them all here? Pick him and make him move. Okay, terminate, extract, kill. Okay, so this should turn phase. Now what? Okay. Mm-hmm. Isometric view. I like the isometric view. I prefer the isometric view. Let's hide that. Is 
Do I just put him on Overwatch? Okay, maybe I just put him on Overwatch. Yeah, we'll just carry on. So I want to do six, I guess, move. Move in there. And then can I put him in Overwatch now? Not enough action points. Okay. Mmm. That wasn't good. So, I'll go to the next one. Tab. Okay, move him. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just trying things. Let's give it a go, let's see. Next. Okay, let's do it. Scry scanners detecting multiple contacts inbound on your position. You have awakened a swarm. Fantastic. I think. We have a target in sight. Gene Steeler presence confirmed. I repeat, suffer not the alien to live. All warriors fire at will. Okay, can we fire? One. First blood. Mark it well, kinsman. But be wary. These gene stealer filth never. First blood. Mark it well, kinsman. I can't click wary. to carry on. I don't know what that symbol is. Space? Space. Ah, okay. Put him in Overwatch. Okay, next one. One, two, three, and face that way. And I can't put him in Overwatch, so next one. I can move him.
put him in Overwatch. And I'm calling it, let's go. We got one moving. Got another one protecting him. Section of the Hulk has collapsed. The okay, do I want to convert that or play it? Each turn terminates get command points. Command points are displayed at the top left corner. Spend command points. Let's play the card. Next. There's a door there. Is there a console anywhere? Looking for a console. Is that open? I don't know. Yes, don't know where there's a console. Can I interact? No. I can move. I can... Maybe I can shoot the door. This guy, I want to cancel that movement. I want to just make him face that way and put him in overwatch. Okay. Let's do that and see. I don't know, I'm, I'm new, I'm still getting the hang of it, so... Let's see how it goes. It's the first time I've ever played, but... Oh, there's a gene stealer. Didn't come into view. The, he did! He got shot. He got shot too. Another one? Yeah. Oh wow. That's pretty good. There might be more on the move over here. Alright, I got one moving in. Okay, so I'm going to put both of those in Overwatch. Gonna move him there, face him that way. And putting him straight in Overwatch. I zoomed in, I'm not sure why I did that. Just for effect, maybe. Okay, attack phase, let's see.
Okay, visible, shot, down. Another one visible. Take it out. More coming in. More coming in. Yeah, on the move. On the move. Okay, you're going into Overwatch again. So two, two. Next one. Mm. Move you forward one and put you on Overwatch. him in Overwatch. Put him in Overwatch too. Okay, let's go. Jam now. Oh crud. What does that mean? Hmm. Should I be moving up or should I just hang here and keep fighting them as they keep doing overwatch? Okay, I'm gonna move this guy to here. Face him down that way. Sergeant, hold! I see Astarte's power armor on the visual feed. Go in for a closer look. Indominus Patton Terminator plate. And the chapter colors are those of the 13th, the Ultramarines. I'd warrant this kindred battle brother perished here many decades ago. It appears the Blood Angels are not the first Space Marines to board this hulk. Theoretically, our position will be overrun. We cannot hold. Tactical. Evacuation sequence has been initiated. It will not be enough. 200 life forms approaching. Brother Hilarion is dead. I am low on ammunition. They're everywhere. The Ultramarines were overwhelmed and slaughtered. But why were they here? Move on, Sergeant. Perhaps this mystery will unfold. Interesting. Next. Next, this guy. Why are you shooting? Can I move one and then do Overwatch? Okay, move him one, and then put him on overwatch again. Door? There's a door in front, maybe I can close the door. Mm, no, let's do this, space, and let's... I don't want to risk it. Okay, this guy has more movement now. Move 
moving forward one? No. Okay, let's do it. Let's see what happens. I don't know. I'm scared. There's still more of them coming in in those two positions. I wonder if I can go and seal them off. Is it jammed on this turn? Or is it just jammed in total? What do I do? Like, you can't go that way. There's something here. Can I interact with this? There is nothing there. Okay. Terrible. Let me put him in Overwatch. Okay, I'm gonna move him around here, facing that way. That's not anywhere. Okay, I think I'm done. Uh, I guess I could have converted some. Got more coming. Kill him? I think I did, yeah. Okay. Oh, what's this? Got another one coming in somewhere else. They're swarming in on me. This guy's got a attack. Melee? Number three. Killed it. Uh, put him in Overwatch, number two. him in Overwatch. Why can't he do Overwatch any further? Oh, there we go. Hang on, let's do a card. What other cards do I have? On a chapter, target a Terminator. The next shot will be a, s is a success. Target a Terminator. He gets plus two in his next melee. Target a Terminator. His melee attack is successful. Use that card. Uh, use it on this guy. Okay, so I'm done. Go. So 
This reminds me a little bit of UFO Enemy Unknown, which is a game I used to play years ago too. One of our kindred has fallen. His body must be recovered. Commence emergency teleportation. Okay. It's still coming out here, and I've got nothing covering this corridor anymore. So, oh man, gene stealers are going to be coming out of the walls. Um, I think I'm still going to... Maybe I'll move you forward one. And put you in. Next, I'm just going to leave you in Overwatch. Overwatch. Okay, let's give it a go. I, I think I'm exposed somewhere, so I'm gonna see. But yeah, I remember UFO Enemy Unknown. I used to play that on Amiga back in the day. Missed. Not that guy. More coming out of the woodwork there. That guy's moving. Got more coming. More coming that way. I don't know, should I move? Guy, put it in Overwatch. There's one there, so I'm gonna. Oh, I can't shoot though. I don't have a direct line of sight. I'm gonna move there. Shoot one of them, and then shoot the other one, and then Overwatch. Yeah, that works. He has no more movement. He has one, but he has two. How? How you doing? What's up? You want me to wrap up soon? Yeah. Okay. All right. I've nearly finished this battle anyway. So that's my uh, time to finish. Notice right there. A little tap on the shoulder. But, uh, but this this has been really interesting. I, I like these turn-based games. It reminds me of like a tabletop game without obviously being a tabletop game and I can play on my own um, so I think do I just leave him in overwatch do I go and leave oh. this guy I'm gonna leave in overwatch because too many guys appearing this guy I don't know I'm not seeing him in this area He's seeing them. If I go forward one, put him in overwatch. And then if one comes along the side here, it's going to find it. Um, can't hit these, so... This guy, I think I'm going to try and make use of these guys. Okay, let's 
get on with this. I'm gonna do two more waves and then I'm I'm gonna have to tap out on this one, so I wonder if I can save it probably through just a sec. Yeah I can, okay, good. All right, do something daring. Let's go. Here, face that way. Shoot. Shoot again. Now I can't go into Overwatch, which is a problem, but I think they only move as far as here. But we'll see. Put him in a yeah. Do that. Move him forward to Okay, I'm going now. I could have converted. I should have done that, shouldn't I? Use my cards. They're not even. Uh oh, he's going to be overwhelmed. Can't move him, okay. Okay, melee. Melee again. Dang. Okay, now I'm kind of in a predicament. Well, <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. I've kind of found myself in a bit of a spot. I've got two Marines down, three still in action. Uh, hopefully I can clean this Space Hulk and get on with it. But anyway, it's proven interesting. It's, it still works from dice rolls, so it's very much true to the tabletop game, but they've done a good implementation, and I like the whole uh, way you can switch between um, tabletop like this or desktop. So if I pick somebody like this and uh, I thought it was R to switch but it's not letting me do it so anyway gonna wrap it up here everybody thanks for coming by and uh, checking out the stream or watching it on YouTube if uh, if that's where you're gonna be so you'll take care you have a good uh, weekend and we'll uh, we'll talk again soon okay take care